Welcome to the Windows Channel, and this is a uh, interesting uh, little video. You know, talking about the evolution of uh, Windows 10 and the, the control panel and the settings panel. You know, they're tweaking that, and I get regular uh, feedback on what do you think this is going to? Do you think that there will be, you know, no more control panel in Fall Creators Update or so on? You know, control panel is there to stay for a while because it still has too many information, too many uh, things in here, you know. I mean, it's still pretty much intact from what it was like in Windows 7 and still a lot of stuff in here to check out. And uh, it's, it's you know, okay because, I mean, um, I'm part of probably a lot of you also part of the fact that we kind of are used to this control panel and kind of you know are accustomed to where the settings are slowly but um, of course you know the, the, the ultimate goal here in uh, Windows uh, 10 is to eventually get rid of this and you know slowly they're moving the, 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 the panel to the, the settings to the, the, the all settings panel in Windows 10 now, this is what it looks like right now as, as for the fall creators updates um, a few things have changed since the uh, you know the, the creators update in um, that we received and um, of course you know add on the, the, there's a few things that are added like you know Cortana is now its own little setting that I think it's okay because I mean it was kind of weird to get the settings of Cortana and it is weird you know when you try to get settings to Cortana and creators update right now you get a kind of a panel that appears on the bottom right, left if you try to find Cortana settings. You don't really get into the settings of Cortana somewhere. It's 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 very weird the way that they've done it. it we've kind of, uh, the, you know, they changed the way that it does, but I don't think it's a good idea now. There's, you know, really definitely a Cortana settings panel, which I think is perfect. Um, and, and, you know, a lot of the settings are being moved slowly from the control panel. There are things they're trying to, um, you know, move on to the settings panel. We're getting more and more things. You know what? I've, I've one of the, the the observations that I've made, and I don't know if you guys agree, but if you tweak your system a little bit or play with some settings sometimes, I've noticed that I go less and less in the control panel, and I am directed more and more to the settings panel. It's as if they've mostly send the major settings to the settings panel and what's left to do in the, con the control panel is more of a legacy type tweaking that we might want to do but I am surprised to see that more and more you know when Windows 10 started in 2015 I remember going to the control panel for a lot of things um, including the screen resolution and all the information you need to do to tweak your, your screen and I am now pretty much more and more in the settings actually I um, except for the device manager that is still something that I use and check out regularly I've got to say that the um, I've got to say that the settings panel here is uh, very very interesting and um, it's 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 nice to see that you know they've been um, they've been really to 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 see that you know the the major settings are are in here and I I think it's you know that this panel is a little easier to understand also one of the things that you gotta check out here is every setting is is much easier to to find also you know the the power of search makes it easy to find but. I've more and more been into settings, less and less into control panel. So we are already kind of halfway there, because I think the major settings are already in the settings. And what's left really is the legacy stuff. There's a lot of stuff in the control panel that I don't think needs to be moved here. There are things in there that should be completely gone, you know, I mean, if we yeah, take a quick look here at the control panel, um, you know, uh, the backup and restore here for Windows 7 stuff don't need that um, you know I, I take a look here date and time I don't know I don't know why there's a setting here for date and time when 
it's very easy to have it here with the clock. Device manager is the main issue. You know, device manager, that needs to be in settings as soon as possible. I think that would be the best, the best way. So, um, to, to do so. And um, maybe if the device manager gets pushed there, I gotta say, um, I might not go here really a lot anymore. Uh, language settings are all in settings. I mean, the keyboard, uh, all, all those stuff. Internet options. You know, this is obsolete. This is from the old time of you got internet options that came from Internet Explorer. And it, this actually pops up the same internet options that Internet Explorer has. You know, this this is legacy stuff that don't need to be here anymore. And slowly that, that needs to be removed and replaced with real options for network and internet that already, already, you know, is, is present here in, in the settings. And so, um, kind of interesting to see the evolution and uh, slowly check out, you know, the differences between what's now and what was before. If you, uh, what do you think about all the uh, evolution of the control panel, the settings? Do you like the settings? You'd rather go to the control panel? Have you noticed you've gone to settings much more often than control panel now? Uh, what do you think of that? I have noticed. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you so much for following us on this channel.